This is a survey slide showing the percentage of damaged erythrocytes. There are two primary artifacts. Number one, cells with red blood cells with surface disturbances. Number two, background in um, what look like platelets. And number three, we traverse a fair percentage of the slide to illustrate the percentage of damaged erythrocytes. These images illustrate a substantial tendency for erythrocytic parasitization. Notice these two artifacts. Here's our, here are another two. There's a single lesion on one erythrocyte. Uh, notice that there are many such similar artifacts throughout the sample. This series illustrates the same items in motion. Notice the tendency for significant number of disturbances on the erythrocytes. This artifact here is a bit curious, mostly because it has an extension out front. This doesn't appear to be a platelet because platelets usually don't have um, what appears like extensions like this. You notice the couple of blobs. Now we've zoomed down to take a look at a couple of white blood cells. Um, notice the ratio of white blood cells to pathogenic cells. Here's another artifact that appears to have an extension. Um, normal platelets don't have uh, things like this sticking out, so this is either, if it is a platelet, it's pathogenic. Um, I'm unsure what so kind it is, but I also observe in the background here all of this particulate, suggesting that the serum is uh, quite cloudy with uh, some unknown category of uh, material. Here's a view of a white blood cell or lymphocyte. Uh, appears to be reasonably healthy, although it's not streaming like a normal one would be. Here's a cluster of uh, curious artifacts. Obviously we can see an erythrocyte with multiple surface, di surface disturbances as well as uh, some of these um, platelet-like forms. The common observation that the erythrocytes are generally parasitized or presenting surface artifacts that suggest parasitization indicates that there's a likely inhibition in the ability to carry oxygen. So uh, systemic hypoxia is likely a cofactor in the condition. Also note here the percentage of what appear to be target cells with collapsed cell membranes um, is um, likely further contributes to the tendency for hypoxia which leads to fatigue as well as healing uh, challenges.